So every day in the 4-H building, high school students are proving that learning can be a lot of fun, and the kids are here to showcase their skills. We yeah. have uh, Sally and Chris. Chris, Sally, welcome. Good to see you guys. Good to see, Good you, to see too. you, too. Uh, where are you from, Chris? Uh, I'm from Eastside St. Paul. What project are you working on? I think this is so interesting. So here we have the Invasive Species Exhibit brought to you by 4-H. And then pretty much what you do is on over here is the zapper code yeah where if you use the zapper app to scan it yeah like can you see that so zapper app on it like so oh and the information pops right up yes and it tells you about different types of invasive species so this one is about zebra mussels this one is about embryo larva and this one is about the wild parsnip which can cause third degree burns that all that information great. popped right up on the screen whose idea was this um, this was part of our idea because we wanted to educate people more about invasive species and how to yeah. prevent them from spreading. And that's so cool to be able to access it that quickly and easily. Yeah. Congratulations. So Chris, you created that's really that? Great. You, huh? you guys created that? Um, not just me, but our whole STEM team created That's this. wonderful. Well done. So well, Sally, why don't you tell us what we have here and what's going on? What is your project? So what we have here is the Copper Tone Sunscreen Education and the 4-H Building want to help you guys, you know, keep your skin clean and healthy and protected. And so what we have here are these UV beads that kind of like act like an indicator and let you know when you should apply sunscreen to your body so you don't get like wrinkles from the sun or like can't skin cancer and stuff is like that, that like the bracelet that's you're great. wearing Sally? yes it so, is so that's yeah. so what will happen does that like, it light up or something Tur in oh, okay. the sunlight yeah oh it's wow so cool that's a great idea yes and so we have a challenge for you guys oh you do yes but we do who can make the first bracelet faster oh well Frank is going to claim injury. We know that. He's going to go on the handicap, here, I think. Here, hold the mic, Chris. <laughs> okay, so what do we have to do? You, you know, the problem, to... Sally, I, don't know, I have one thumb here today. I had a little oh. bit. I, uh, I was making... See, he's already starting. Do you hear Thank that, you. people? All right, tell us one. Do you hear it? Okay, so now, are there other projects that you have going on over there at the 4-H? Um, yes. Because these um, are really interesting. Uh, yes. Over there, we also have a 3-D pen where you can make the 4-H clovers using the 3-D pen. Mm -hmm. And we also have a photo area where you can take pictures and finally but not least we have an ATV flight simulator section. Awesome. Oh, you're kidding that's great. Now hey Chris you know what else I like is that I, I hear a lot of kids at 4-H going God I was really shy and I wasn't you know it's kind of reserved and then I got it in 4-H and I became like you two like yeah. spokespeople is that true do you see a lot of that? Uh, yes a lot of people who first joined 4-H are typically shy and like quiet like I once was but then after a few years like I've been in for seven years they learn how to publicly speak and get more going. Well Good. you guys are fantastic. Nice confidence and leadership right? Yeah. Yes. That's awesome. Thank you very much. I have 58 Chris. on mine. How did you do? <laughs> there we go. Cheers. Oh. I know that you had problems with your thumb, so I'm not going to hold it against well, you. Well, thank you very much. All right. Really cool ideas. Thank you both so much. Big hand for Chris and Sally. Yes, well done, definitely. you guys. Thank very you. impressive. Uh,